Good evening. Welcome to Fire in the Grape. Hi, I'm Erica, Executive Chef of Salt Creek Grill, also known as The Fire, and you can find me on social media at The Monday Baker. And I'm Hugh Priest, Operating Partner, also known as The Fermented Boss, and I am The Grape. Welcome to this new episode. Yeah, looking forward to this one. Happy to be here with all of you. So today we're going to talk about a popular signature dish, mesquite grilled barbecue ribs. Baby back. Baby back, yes. <laughs> so these ribs, uh, you, you can get them here as a full rack, a half rack. They are absolutely delicious we, with our homemade barbecue sauce. Sweet, tangy, um, flavors of the grill, that mesquite wood flavor on, on the ribs itself. Um, they're absolutely delicious. They Hold are. The bone. And the whole process of the ribs is, you know, we we slow cook them slow and low. We cook them 18 hours. 18 hours. And uh, we first give them a little dry rub and some apple cider vinegar. And then we cook them for 18 hours. Mm -hmm. And they're literally fall off the bone good. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Everyone loves ribs. Um, we do. So I'm looking forward to this pairing. Um, I do have yeah. something a little different than uh, we're going to do. So we're going to cut to the process of preparing our tasting and the bottle I have selected. And we'll be right back. We look forward to it. See you soon. Yeah. Welcome back. So here are our mesquite grill ribs with our homemade barbecue sauce, served with our um, garlic fries, garlic parmesan fries. So our barbecue sauce is not overly spicy. It just has enough seasoning, um, has a little tanginess to it, and it's got a little fruit forward um, sweetness to it, um, which is excellent because um, with the um, with the rib meat, it's rich and it's uh, juicy and it's it just blends so well and it has that mesquite um, undertones uh, to it, which adds the complexity. And I know we've talked about the mesquite wood in our past episodes. So the, the wine I picked today is Bulloni uh, Valpicella uh, Classico Superiore. Um, this wine, the reason why I picked this wine is. You know, Valpicella is a light-bodied, medium-bodied uh, red wine from the northeastern uh, part of Italy um, in Veneto region. It's right outside of Verona, which is one of my favorite cities. Um, the wine is a blend of local native grape varietals called, uh, the base of it is Corvina, Corvinone, and then it's complemented with Rondanella, Molinara, or Saletta. Um, and there's other uh, native grapes, less but the um, Valpicella itself is is fairly simple, but with um, with some good complexity to it. And the fruit forwardness, I thought would be able to, uh, and the acidity would be able to cut through the uh, fattiness of the of the ribs and um, richness of the meat. And it also has some earthy undertones, which will. Um, like that. Balance well with the um, with the tangy barbecue sauce. Can't wait to try it. This makes me suffer here. So let's have a little sip. Mm. So you're getting that red fruit, uh, cherries, red berries. Yes. Um, on the front side, but it has this um, mild tannins, smooth tannins. Um, you can feel the acidity. Yes, you do. Um, and it is a little bit of earthiness there. Um, that I we're uh, cherry right away. Yeah. It, it, the Classico region is steep hills, uh, limestone, basalt okay. soils, uh, a little bit warmer climate, um, but it's the easternmost part. It's closest to the Garda uh, Lake. Um, it has, and, it has uh, an amazing flavor. I love um, the, the little bit of acidity that you get with it, and I think it's definitely going to cut through that the fatness of the ribs. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see how you know the barbecue sauce pairs with, with the flavors of the wine. Absolutely. What do you think? You're going to cut the ribs. You need a you need a knife. I don't need a knife, but I'm going to use them because I don't want to get too messy. But I'll eat with my hands when I have it on my plate. Look at that! Look at that! Thank you. 
Should I take the bigger half again? All the time. I always do. All the time. So just to show you, you know, we talked about earlier about how it's fall off the bone. Well, you can just see. So tender. So tender. They smell delicious. The barbecue sauce is, is caramelized because of that heat of the grill. Um, it's a little tanginess, nice spice. Not overpowering, but it, it really uh, covers your whole your whole your palate. palate. Mm -hmm. And then the garlic Asiago fries are always a, a bonus. Mm -hmm. It is. They just sear apart. No fork needed. You have a rib eating technique? Um, I just put it in my mouth and chew. So you can see this meat, it's moist, it's tender. It's got smokiness, bitterness from the mesquite wood. Mm. Mm. And that wine is delicious. It just matches perfectly. It's simple with some subtle notes of earthiness, minerality. You get that acidity, and, and it makes of course, the, ribs, the fruit forward. Yeah. yeah, it makes them feel lighter. And you know, every bite you take, you want to sip, and sip you take, you want to bite. So it's the perfect it's combination. It's a dance. It is a dance. So a full rack of ribs for us is, you know, 12 to 13 bones. Usually it's 13, but sometimes there's bones on the end that might fall off during the whole process. So. That's why we say 12 to 13. Um, half rack is six to seven. But for me, for barbecue, uh, the Valpicella is perfect for it. It is perfect for it. This one's delicious, thank you. It's, it's gorgeous. So it's next week, we are going to do a little challenge. We're gonna kind of reverse the process where we talk about the entree. I'm gonna bring a wine first and then the chef is going to be challenged with pairing pairing food with it. And it might not be something on our menu, but she'll create something um, for this pairing. Well, and uh, experience will creep through. Absolutely. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you. If you haven't liked us, please like us. Please follow us. Um, please DM us and let us know of any ideas that you might have that you would like to see we could discuss it and we can try to make that happen so absolutely let us we know. really like do, we really enjoy doing this and we hope you do too we'll see you soon yep ciao chin chin salute